The purpose of this video is to go over the difference between in-text citations and references and then to explain to you how to do it. In-text citations are citations that are in the body of your paper, such as in the introduction, the literature review, in the implication section, conclusion. Um, but you want to, you're writing about something and you want to reference a research article. And so that's what's called an in-text citation. The other way that you reference research article is the reference list. Um, it's titled the references for APA purposes. Um, this is the list of all the research articles that you've used in your paper. So if you have a research article with one author, um, in the reference list at the end of the paper, you would list it like this. The last name of the author, their initials, period, comma, the year of the publication in parentheses, the title of the article here, um, then you put the journal name italicized, comma, and then you can put the volume number, the issue number, comma, and then page numbers as needed. So that is the reference that you would put at the end of the paper under references. The in-text citation, so if you are referencing uh, this paper within the document, you would say Perez in parentheses 2018 reported that whatever it is the thing that you're trying to reference although it's better to just say the thing that you're trying to say and then reference Perez at the end of the sentence. So CBT is effective to treat depression in college students parentheses Perez comma 2018 and parentheses period. Um, that's how you would do the in-text citation for one author. How does this change if you have two authors? The only thing that really changes is you add an ampersand. That's this, it means and. Um, you add that for the reference list. That's the one thing that changes when you have two authors. If you're writing an in-text citation, here you would actually use the word and, not the ampersand. And again, you'd pretty much do the same thing. But again, um, we prefer that you just say the thing that you're trying to say and then reference it at the end of the sentence. So here again, Perez, Ampersand, Smith, comma, 2018. If you have three to five authors, your reference list, again, is very similar. You would just have the Ampersand um, there instead of the and. But if you do the in-text citation when you have three to five authors, the first time you mention it, you put all authors there using the and. Um, the second time after that, you would just say Perez et al. 2018 reported that whatever. Um, the same thing is true here at the end of the sentence. If you say if you have the sentence and then you want to reference these at the end, you start off with naming all the authors with the ampersand, and then the second time you do it, you can just say um, Perez at all 2018, just like that. That's how you would do it the second time. If you have six or more authors, um, this is how you would put it in the reference list. Again, you just list them all out. Um, if you have seven or more authors, after the sixth author, you put what's called an ellipsis right here. It's the ellipse. It's the three dots after the sixth author and then before the last author. So this article right here could have had 20 authors, but you don't list all of them in the reference list. And when you're doing the in-text citation, uh, the first time you do it, you just say the first author's last name, Perez et al., 2018. Uh, so that is how you do um, in-text citations or uh, the reference list citations.